In this video, we're going to discuss using units and solving problems. Specifically, we're going to talk about concepts such as conversion factors, dimensional analysis, and tracking units. Here's the problem. You have a child patient who weighs 43 kilograms and needs the antibiotic carolone at a dosage level of 60 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. You have a carolone solution with a concentration of 0 0.030 milligrams per liter. You're asked to calculate the volume of this solution that you should administer to the child patient. Let's start by writing down all the pieces of information or the conversion factors that appear in this problem. First we see that we have a 43 kilogram patient. We also see that the dosage level is 60 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. We also see that the solution concentration, the carolone solution, has a concentration of 0.03 grams per milliliter. Let's start by looking at the concentration value we're given. That's the concentration of the carolone solution. It's most convenient to rewrite this value this way, where it's a fractional form. So we have 0 0.030 grams per one milliliter. So one milliliters in the denominator. It's also important to add the units or complete labels to the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is 0.03 grams of carolone. It's 0.03 grams of the actual antibiotic. The denominator, the one milliliter, that's one milliliter of carolone solution. So it's important that you can take uh, a piece of information here from a sentence and rewrite it in this fractional form. What this fraction means is that there are 0.03 grams of carolone for every one milliliter of the carolone solution. Another way of thinking about this uh, fraction is that you could flip it. You could think about for every one milliliter of carolone solution, it will contain 0.03 grams of carolone. That would be rewriting this fraction, the um, inverse of it, here. It's very important that you can write these fractions both ways because it turns out these fractions are conversion factors that you will use in solving these type of multi-step problems. Next, let's look at the dosage level we're given. We're told that there are 60 milligrams of carolone per kilogram of patient body weight. The 60 milligrams of carolone is in the numerator. The per means that anything following that is in the denominator. So to write that in a fractional form, there are 60 milligrams carolone per one kilogram of patient body weight. And just like the fraction we set up describing the concentration before, we should be able to rewrite this fraction or rewrite the inverse of it. So you could also write there's one kilogram patient body weight per 60 milligrams of carolone. So here are two of the three pieces of information we're given from the problem, both written in fractional form. We also have the weight of the patient, the 43 kilograms. In this problem, we're essentially being asked to convert the 43 kilograms of patient into volume of solution. One of the ways I like to visualize uh, setting up these type of problems is to draw a diagram like this, where I start with the 43 kilogram mass of the patient or the weight of the, the patient and then I draw an arrow to remind myself that I'm going to transform that 43 kilogram number 
into a new number, some different number by, by doing math to it. And then I'll probably have to transform that number into another number by performing some mathematical operation and then transform it again. And eventually, if I do that enough, my final answer will be volume of the Carolone solution. So that'd be the volume of the solution that we'd administer to the patient. So what does the first arrow represent and what's the first number we're going to calculate? This first arrow represents a conversion factor or a fraction, one of the two that we have up above, that we're going to multiply the 43 kilograms by to convert it to a new number. Now when we multiply the 43 kilogram patient weight by this conversion factor, the units in the conversion factor and the units in the original number, the kilograms patient, they need to cancel. So notice that of the two conversion factors, the only conversion factor that has patient body weight is this first one, the dosage one. So may, that means the, the first arrow represents the dosage conversion factor. Let's start writing out the actual problem as we fill in this kind of diagram together. So we'll start with the 43 kilogram patient We'll multiply that by this fraction or a conversion factor, the 60 milligrams carolone per kilogram patient body weight. Notice that if we multiply these two fractions together right now, our final answer would be in milligrams carolone. So that means that this number one, this unknown number one value right here, is actually in units of milligrams carolone. If we wanted to convert milligrams carolone to milliliters carolone solution, we'd have to use the second conversion factor here. We can't just use this conversion factor because we're in units of milligrams and the conversion factor is in units of grams. So somewhere in here, we'll have to add in another conversion factor. That is the conversion between milligrams to grams. There are a thousand milligrams per gram, or one milligram is one times 10 to the negative third grams. So we'll put that conversion factor here, which means that our unknown number number, unknown number two is actually grams carolone. If we continue with our unit analysis below, we see that milligrams cancel. So if we did the math, we'd be in units of grams carolone. The next conversion factor we need is the conversion factor that converts us from grams carolone to milliliters carolone solution. That's this final blue, uh, the final, the conversion factor circled in blue. If we add that down here to our uh, list of fractions that we're multiplying by each other, notice that we have to put the grams carolone in the denominator so that the numerator of this term cancels with the new term we're adding. So our final units will be in whatever the numerator term is uh, in this last fraction, that is milliliters of carolone solution. Canceling out all the units and doing the math, we see that our final answer is 86 milliliters of carolone solution. This means that 86 milliliters of the carolone solution is the correct dosage for a 43-kilogram patient.